Hello fellow YouTubers and anyone from PodTackler who may be watching this. Um, this is pretty much my first vlog. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, this is the first time probably anyone has actually seen me on YouTube. This is my first YouTube actual self-appearance, not me doing Halo 3 clips I have captured or ODST achievement guides. Um, this is me. This is real. Um, which is kind of cool and kind of freaky at the same time. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, I am Dustin, a.k.a. Duststorm, for a lot of the places that I visit. And my gamer tag for Xbox Live is Duststorm051. And I am the host of Pottacular, um, which is a Halo podcast. And, yeah. So... This is my first video blog. It's more of a announcement for a couple of particular things, but depending on how successful this is, I may do regular vlogs uh, on a regular basis, maybe every other week, or at times when I feel like just kind of speaking my mind on a certain topic. Um, or maybe just to fill in my blog that I haven't posted to in a while. But, yeah, so this is my first appearance, which is... Pretty cool. Anyways, um, so for introduction, I guess I'll go over what my. This is where I live. This is my University of Tulsa apartment. This is where I eat. This is where I sleep. Uh, this is where I study. This is where I bash my head against the wall when I'm frustrated. Yeah, that goes over well. Anyways, as you can see over there, there's my bed, and I have some, some TF2 posters. I'm a big TF2 fan, play TF2 um, often, I guess. I'm kind of in school, so I don't have much of a chance to play it. And so big TF2 fan, more of a Halo 3 player, and that's why I have an Xbox, is because I love Halo 3, I love the storyline for it. Big Halo 3 player. So, yeah. And all that stuff. I play some other games, too, like uh, Call of Duty... Uh, not Modern Warfare 2. I have a reason for that. Uh, I played Borderlands. Portal is a great game. A um, little bit of Battlefield here and there. Guitar Hero, Rock Band. Uh, a few other things. But not to waste any more time, because I've done this recording th four times and I've gone over the limit, so hopefully try to keep it shorter. A <laughs> uh, couple things is you're seeing me with my new webcam. I got it last week. Thanks to a little birthday money I got from my mom. And if you are somehow watching this, mom, thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I can use this a lot to chat with you. Um, we need to get you a microphone, though, so it actually works. Because there's no microphone on your webcam. And, yeah. So, thanks a bunch. Hope the brothers aren't driving you crazy. Hope grandma's not driving you crazy either. Or dad, for that matter. He might do that, too. Anyways. So this was part of part of it. Nice HD webcam, and I got some other little thing I want to show off real quick. Is the Turtle Beach headset that I got? It's the Air Force X1. Um, for some of you pro gamers out there, you might have heard of the Turtle Beach headsets. Um, this one was pretty good. I like it so far. It was uh, forty fifty range price range, and uh, I got it for. The main reason I got it was because it worked for both Xbox and PC. And that's one of the reasons I like it a lot. Another reason is because you can put your main Xbox audio source into your headset. There's actually a special little connector that comes in that will uh, basically uh, copy the stream out from the main Xbox audio cables and then plug into your TV or capture, capture card in my case and duplicate the sound, which is really nice. Um, but if you do that, though, you have to uh, use USB power. There's a little USB connector on the end. Um, that way, it just snaps a little bit of it and doesn't pull all the uh, quality out of it. And the USB actually powers the headset for amplification. So there's that, and then there's a separate little connector for the Xbox communicator side, so you can have both the main Xbox audio and the Xbox communicator 
part hooked into the um, same part of your headset, which is really nice. Uh, a little downside to it is, is that when you first put it on, the earpieces get a little warm. Uh, it's a little irritating at first, but I found after about 10 minutes of having them on, it really didn't matter that much, um, especially when you have your ears inside the little pieces. Um, you can see there's a little pad right around the edge, and if you have your ear inside, it doesn't bother you too much. But yeah, great little headset. I've only had it for a week, just like the webcam, and so far I've I've liked it. I've done a podcast recording with it, and it worked out pretty ni nicely. So uh, there's that, and that's pretty much all the nice little goodies I got. I got a SATA card for my desktop because I needed another two SATA ports for my disk drive and uh, a hard drive. So, got that. It's working nicely. Had a few problems working it out, but that's installed and going great. So, on to the announcements that I have for Podtacular. I am doing a top 10 Halo 3 series that is pretty much like most of the other series that you see out there. Um, for those of you to who watch those, um, the two ones that I've seen are the ones done by Anaj and Bipolar Nick. Um, Bipolar Nick is over at Machinima.com. Anaj is also at over at Machinima.com, but he has his own website, Top 10 Series, that he does on his own. The difference with mine is it's mainly geared towards Potacular people. I've made the announcement there. And on another site, um, opening up invitations. And this is actually open to anyone. It's just more targeted towards people in Potacular. So if you're watching this, and if you're not pot Potacular, it's not a problem. You can submit. Uh, to do that, you can head on over to Potacular.com, and under Contacts, there will be a link to the top 10 submission form that you can fill out. Or you can send an email directly to me at top 10 at Potacular.com, and what I need is a link to your clip, a short description of what the clip is, the gamer tag of the person in the clip, if it's not you, and your gamer tag if you're not in the clip. Also, I, if it's a campaign clip or a firefight clip, yes, those are those are good uh, for submissions. Um, I need a estimate time of where the thing is I'm looking for, and if there's any special camera angles I need to do to write those down as well. It's open to campaign clips, firefight, multiplayer. Um, random forge things like glitches, any kind of that. So it's pretty much open to anything. And right now I'm doing it by myself. I'm capping all the clips by myself in my spare time. And I will be making the judgment on when or who makes the top 10. It'll probably be a monthly thing once the ball gets rolling and once I get more submissions. Right now I only have four. So when I get more, hopefully things will get rolling. Submit. Anyways, that was the first one. Second one is I'm doing a Machinima series, or at least I'm planning one out. Um, more details will come when I'm ready to release them. But I mean, I have six main characters, and the main plot's going to be laid out on Valhalla. Uh, you'll s probably see some aspects similar to Red vs. Blue. I didn't. I don't mean to take anything from anyone. All the content is original, as as far as I know. Um, trying to do kind of be unique and kind of thing but it's not going to be as funny as um, Red vs. Blue for those of you who have seen the Codex or have heard of the Codex it's kind of be going to be on that serious level but not the same sort of storyline whatsoever so looking forward to do that um, so when I have more information on that or I'm ready to release more information I will make another post or uh, vlog about it and if you uh, want to keep an eye on that you can go over to my website at duststorm.org I also have some forums over there that are geared towards Halo 3 Machinimas we have some plans for a couple little snippets that we want to do we haven't done any yet um, once we find time to do them we will actually do them in my busy schedule also if you have Xlink Kai or have used Xlink Kai before that is a big plus because when we do Machinima will want to be able to use weapon down stuff via system link. So 
that's about it. That's all I have on my list down here. Um, so whoever's watching this, thank you for watching. And hopefully you will see me again soon. So thanks.